All right, all right, folks, what's happening? The gathering point here at the Glass Academy, and it is show number 130. It's going to be an amazing night tonight. We are in the midst, in the gallows of harvest season. I don't know what the gallows are. The gallows are Up underneath where the there's some type of harvest season, I think. Isn't the gallows? Ga They are? I thought that was part of a ship or something. Or is that the galley? Six. Yeah. Is my mic on? Yes. All right, whatever, Gallo. whatever. Yeah, to so, well, either way, we got a lot, an exciting show going on tonight, everybody. We're really excited. Uh, we got some custom orders. We got the warmer upper, which I'm just going to be right up front and say, Jake's doing the warmer upper. Aw, yeah. And then we got a couple artist choice, which I'll be doing both of those. False. Oh, yeah. Because we don't have two artist choice, we actually have this. What is it? That line right there. I just spelled Kelly Robson's name out. Oh, you did? Because we got two custom orders tonight. One artist choice and one giveaway. Well, I'm making a custom witch's hat for Dawn, a good friend and good client. And we're going to be getting crazy doing a custom witch's hat, which will be capable of receiving lights inside of it so that it's blinging and sparkling and spooky. Yep. I don't know if we've ever done a witch's hat on this show. We're at show 130 here. That's over a year of producing content, and it's the first ever witch's hat. She's excited. She's been thinking about it. We talked about it like a month ago, and now we're doing it. Nice. And for Kelly, we are putting in, and we're going to show you what today's giveaway is from last week, which is the first ever pumpkin slug. Should I grab it? Maybe. And we're going to be doing another one of these customized with a little extra with the number. Addition. You guys ready? It's coming in from the underneath side. Whoa. That's right, folks. A pumpkin slug. And look at, look at little the tail. little tail. And this is the giveaway, right? That's the truth. But also on the live feed, number 14, what does that mean? The feature table? I think that's just some trickery. Yeah, so what that means is uh, we put it on the table because we thought it first was for sale, but it's the giveaway. So it's number 14. They can see a picture of it. Yeah, just, can't buy just it. a miscommunication. It's $1,000. Well, couldn't they just buy one anyways if, there's, if you put a couple? Stop, All right, sorry. Did you see that bus? Where? She's rallying the gas up on the bus, folks. You were well, I'm just saying. He's so got that's a the deal, folks. Someone's getting the first ever pumpkin slug for free, and we're going to spin the wheel of names at the end of the show today. So that's going to be awesome. And that's it. We got blue pumpkins tonight. You know, it's October in like two days. So it's serious harvest time, and the weather, three days, excuse me, the weather is cooling down, and it's total harvest season. So we could take a look at what we did last week that's going to be available today online. And we could take a look, but you can't look at this yet. And you could take a look at the beautiful selection of blue, multiple different styles of blue, uh, fresh, handmade glass pumpkins. What I don't think people realize is that the peanut, historically, has been a harvest nut. <laughs> and that's why we brought it into our harvest season, the peanut martini glass, folks. Number 13, ridiculous. There's Jake's amazing drinking horn, his harvest season drinking mm. horn. That's a tasty one. And I can't remember. I think last week we were talking about this being a vase. That's weren't right. We? But you could drink something hefty out of that, you too. You could drink sunflower water out of here if you wanted to be kind of nasty. But, Whoa. but you could drink anything out of it and put flowers in it. So it's a gorgeous looking. Look at those leaves. Mm. Look at that avolio. Oh boy, that was nice. But back to now the harvest peanut martini glass, guys. I'm this is just you. a secondary annealer reveal for you all who didn't see it on Sunday. The ladies did an amazing job again. Yeah. Uh, showing off the products of last week's show. And uh, we're gonna have some more products tonight on a brand new show. So without further ado, we're gonna be getting into the warmer upper challenge oh, here. Oh, the challenge folks and that's like challenge it. with a hard a 
and you all are going to love this one because we've done it one time before and it was pretty exciting. And Marcy's going to need to spin the mold, so I'm taking the camera. Camera switch, Marcy's going for the mold, folks. This is how we decide who's going first. You all know Do by... Do you remember? Back by popular demand, basketball. Ah, oh, yeah. There's the target. There's the, the big 50-point special right in the center, if mm. you make it. 5, 10, 25, 50. Whoever might get the most points from this line over here will win and be inscribed onto the GA Cup, which is right here, with all the new signatures Jake made sure he just added onto it. See them all down on there? Oh, yeah. So this is kind of where you're going to see from the shot distance, from the line, hot glass, cut into there. You get as many cuts as you can off of one gather. Now, and who won it last time? Jake. That's right. So let's spin the mold and let's see who's going to win it this time. Michelle who is going first. We need your foot over here. This is how we decide who is going to be going first. You see it was crazy in the shop today. We got frit all over the floor. It was a soft flip, but I guess I'm going first. Jake's going first. All right, spread it out see now. See if we can't get a little more spin action. Oh, there it is. Watch yeah. the toe now. That's oh, Chris. Oh, yeah, number two here. And the ladies. That's Marcy. Uh, that's Marcy. All right. All right, so that's what we got. So we're going to get the chalk out. We're going to draw up our names in order. Marcy, will you do that right along the side here for points? Jake, Chris, Marcy, Michelle. Are those the players? Those are the players tonight, folks. We're going for some. We've got some really gorgeous glass. It's a, a hybrid mixture of that electric copper blue and recycle to wash out and clean the tank out before we switch to crystal. Mm. And it is beautiful. It's super buttery and creamy. And it is a gorgeous one. So I'm gonna be making some my, my artist choice out of that. All right, here comes Jake, guys. Michelle, M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Here goes Jake, folks. Oh! oh! First one in the bucket. Long. Oh, he's in there. He's close. Two in the bucket. Oh, roller. Oh, oh off the couple bar. rim shots. Oh, three rim shots. Woo! Nailed it. Oh. I'm gonna get one more off this guy, maybe two. Oh man. I see ah. I see the bonus action. I'll be getting that 25 points myself as well. <laughs> so what do we got? How many in there? One to five times fifty is two hundred and fifty. Yep. Plus you got a twenty-five. 25 two seventy-five. And that's it. So Jake got two seventy-five. Thank folks. you, folks. Thank you very much. Come on. What do you think, Marcy? High bar. High, High bar. bar. <laughs> All right. Well, Chris has got a chance to uh, show me what's up. Folks, I'm going to be taking a look at your comments as we get rolling here. Marcy's emptying out the tray. Thank you, Marcy. But look at the way this color is turning out. Is this not one of the most beautiful recycled blues you've ever seen? Look at the brilliance of that. And look at the way the cement is heating up around that piece. Pretty cool. Some oily burn mark action. 275, no big deal. <laughs> Balance? Oh, Marcy's finally it getting now, some Marcy. stickers on her hydro glass flask. glass coming your way. And here comes Chris, gives her the get out of my way. He's going for his first snip. How do we 
Long. One in there. His foot is over the line, though. It doesn't count. No, it's not. There My you go. He fixed flopped. it up. There's two. Nice. Ooh. He's got two in, one in the 10 region. Oh, he's hitting a lot of rim here, folks. Ah. Oh, long one. Roller. I'm making him super nervous. Look at another roller. Oh, he nailed one. Look at those glowing compared to the other ones. Ooh, watch your toes Whoa. now. Yeah, a little distraction. Look at that thing go. Look at this. It's getting wild in here. What the? Nice shot, nice shot. He could be having five in there right now. Oh. Six. Oh. Under the plant, folks. That's dangerous. And here he goes for number seven. Ooh, almost popped out. Did he get seven in, folks? One, two, three, four, five. Five and a number 10, folks. He got 260. No! <laughs> I can get one more over here. <laughs> Dang. Come on. Oh, you guys. God. Boom. No, they're just ones I put in. We'll dump them out. All right, Marcy's turn, folks. She has been known to get crazy and one-up us before. One gather, one gather only. Look at the confidence in her face, folks. You love to see that. You got the right diamonds Michelle's off the board right on the marker for you. Of many failed attempts. The blue is just beautiful. Look at that. Is that right a pretty blue? That mm. It's that hybrid. Delicious. How many of you know about our recycled glass and know how that works? And if you don't, let us know in the chat did. because we'd love to tell you. And I All right, here comes Marcy. Alex would tell you as well. Here she goes, going for her first cut. Roller, it's a little short. Takes a few cuts to get in there and get it used the to it. Cut up more. Here we go. It's getting lined oh, up. Oh, shot her. it. There you oh. go. That oh. counts. Oh! She's oh. concentrated. Ooh, Ooh long almost. one. She's going for one more here, folks. Let's see if she can scrape it off. Oh, she's busting she's her wrist, and it's it. Ow. Ow. Don't be messing with your tendonitis now. Is that a five on All right, line? let's take a look. We'll call that a five. That's five. And we got a. Uh, Five ten. and a ten, another ten, and another five. So ten, thirty. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, Marcy's going to score it down. Well done, Marcy. We've decided we're going to do this challenge once every ten shows, at least. So we're going to have a lot of time to learn and a lot of time to uh, gather up our fundamentals. All right, Michelle's gathering it up, folks. Here, comes Here she Michelle. comes. She's got a nice gather. Right She's going for here. the other diamond shears. She's going to pull off the glass. Oh, she's got technique going on. I see. There you All go. right. She's got, look at that, in her apron. Oh. What's the blue line for? Short people? Short people? I'm only like 5'9. There's 20 po 10 points. Here she goes. Whoa! Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, a little bit of wide. Oh, the rim, under the table with it, right on the broom, perfect. Catching the broom on fire. Yeah. yeah. The tongue out. Ooh. I don't know how loud it's ringing for you guys, but it feels good when you hear it hit off of the uh, side of the piece. That's... You know what next time I'll do? Huh. What's she, she going to tell gonna us next or time? no? <laughs> oh, ah. she's saving her idea. Uh-oh. Trying to get this last piece Whoa. Of here, and she picked it up. Oh! And it down. So Michelle got three times fifty is one fifty, and and uh, ten is one sixty. One sixty for Michelle. Me. Look at that, folks. Wah, wah, wah. Oh yeah. Well, Marcy, if you just hold this for one sec. Thank you. 
Here it is, folks. Take one. The beautiful trophy. Look at it just glistening in the light. We don't have that guy that literally his job is to take care of the Stanley Cup, so he's not polishing and shining off our piece before every victory. But some of the grime on there is kind of nice. It's a nice classic grimy shop trophy. If you didn't talk about the grime, no one would know. They can't see it on the camera. What? Well, what grime? What grime? <laughs> <laughs> Smells like something's burning. I know. I smelled it myself. I think it's the uh, just something coming out of the pile. Yeah, we love that. All right, folks. That was a great one. Feels good to be back. And now it's time for the warmer upper, correct? Time to get down to the glass blowing. Let's do it. All right. Well, you know, let's see. Hmm. Okay. All right. Very good. All right, all right, folks. We've got a beautiful day out today here in Dearborn, Michigan, just outside of Detroit, about 15 minutes outside of the big D, which is Detroit, is the little D, which is Dearborn. And uh, we're the Glass Academy. And the Glass Academy has an amazing show called The Gathering Point. How many years have you been doing all this? The Gathering Point? We started the Gathering Point show, if that's what you're talking about, Marcy. We started it in the beginning of the pandemic when we were slugs. And that's how the slugs were born. We started doing shows. This is our 130 the show. And we're going to keep going forever. Forever. I think until they invent the holodeck. When that happens, then we'll just be able to have people just blink themselves into our shop here from all over the world, and you guys could just be that up close and personal, which oh, sounds cool. great. Okay. That's Star Trek. That's, yep. Mm -hmm. I did just hear that Jeff Bezos, is that his name? Bezos. What's his Bezos. name? That's the guy. Jeff Bezos, he's taken Captain Kirk, William Shatner, up in space. So he's going to be the oldest guy to go somewhere. Oh. Some of you might be new because we had a video go viral, and so this might be your first time on the show. Yeah. So I'm standing next to the microphone here. Microphone. If you are new on the show, give us a thumbs up. Say where you're from. We have people that watch worldwide. It's a goofy, family friendly show, and. Nothing, nothing goofy son. about it. Marcy's on the camera. You'll see her later. It's glass blowing. Yeah, let's do it. So, what I wanted to say was what I'm going to be making, which is a sweet tall drinking vessel with, it's gonna be a mug, but it's gonna be having no foot, it's gonna be pretty simple, and we're gonna use the blue, so it's in blue theme, but one of the most beautiful colors I've found to do with this blue, which we made a bunch of them and sold them all at the Renaissance this weekend, is use the blue and then put this goal, which I just took like a piece of uh, bread, making a long flat bread, and rolled it out super thin so that I can put the 12 ribs into the glass and roll it on here and get iridescent lines on each rib. That's probably exactly how you make flatbread pizza. I think so. I've done it once or twice. We had some uh, glass pepperonis. We could put them down on here. A little cheese. I'm not going to put any pepperoni on this one. You did? All right, she, Marcy just said she made a pizza trophy one time, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. All right, there so- There's also a donut at one point. Yeah. Folks, if anybody doesn't know what glass blowing is, we got a lot of Glass Academy addicts out there, but I just gathered up the 2,000 degree glass, and right now I'm shaping it and rounding it out and cooling the outside so that it's stable and I can do this. Blow a bubble into it. Here it comes. Just expanded. Yeah, Judy? hey Judy, what's happening? Nice to see you. I can't see you, but nice to know you. I'm glad you're watching the show. So I'm gonna shape it up to go into an optic mold, folks. There's many different molds for many different reasons. And right now, to start the show off, it's pumpkin theme, but I'm making some drinkware. I'm going to put 12 ribs around this thing, and I'm going to use this sweetie right here. It's just a real nice mold, and we've probably made like, I mean, it's got to be tens of thousands of pieces out of that one mold. That was one of the first molds 
that have been in the shop here and it has some serious history. But you treat it right and it'll last forever. So there's so, 12 beautiful ribs. This is a good part, you guys, when he's gonna take, he's gonna heat it up just enough that this glass flatbread pizza goodness over here, Marcy, this stuff right here, is gonna pick up, he's gonna roll that optically blown shape in here, watch, and it's gonna stick on to the edges. Only the edges. Oh, baby. Looking watch this. Good. Oh, yeah. Very nice. I'm gonna take a little bench blow here. Marcy? Oh, yeah. All right, all right. A little bit of length. Blow. So Marcy's blowing in the end of the blow pipe. A Venetian style of blowing glass where you have somebody helping you blow air into the Good. vessel you're working on. And Jake is shaping up the vessel that's gonna become blow. a drinking glass. Good. We got some gorgeous looking that glass coming out of the right furnace there. right now, guys. We're just real, gonna do real a, a nice. Blue Look foot at this. Yeah. That's just so good. Look at this action. Hold on, moving up, Jake. And that's what that exact same color looks like hot. Trying to get a focus. I got it. I just got focus right there. Don't move. Oh, yeah. Really nice. I said we weren't going to put a foot on it, but the shape came out so correct for a nice fluted foot. And I'm putting a foot on it. Nice. And I know it's the warmer upper, but well, that, that copper blue that's coming out of our tank, guys, it's got a little bit, it's a lot lighter than the original copper blue from a few weeks ago that we had for a specific uh, architectural project we were working on. Well, that blue is made by adding copper oxide, black copper oxide to clear crystal to the raw glass material using that natural earthly mineral to turn the glass a different color is the only way you can change the color of glass you guys is by adding natural earthly minerals off the periodic table it's super super cool Swish. one of mother nature's best presents to the human race really hard is the uh, discovery of glass i love it what's up Good. everybody Mark, nice. what's happening? Brad, what's going on? Oh, Brad's in the house. Yep, Kelly. Look at that craziness. Dawn's there. Look at that sweet foot. Nice. Um, yeah, we are. Looking good, looking good. We're glad everybody's joining us tonight. We are pretty much in full-on harvest season, guys. You know we've been out at the Michigan Renaissance Festival for the last six weekends. This weekend is the last weekend. Uh, and last weekend was an insane weekend. Half the first day was pouring rain, and then it turned us into the big slop show, and we loved it, and everybody out there loved it. People tramping through the mud, having That's a great Michigan time. That's the Michigan Renaissance Festival for anybody watching outside of the state. Yeah, I was just telling them, uh, just got done telling them all about the Michigan Renaissance Festival. But, uh, yep, that's a good thing, guys. Now, check it out. Here's the punty. Marcy just gathered up a gather on the end of the pipe. Jake's blowing some air on there, and he's going to put it right under the bottom on center. And just like a lathe, he's slapping it around pretty good. And he's going to put a little cold metal on the neck, and he's going to break it right off. But why? So he can open up the top of the drinking vessel, guys. Watch that, little cold metal on the jet, uh, the tweezers right on the neck. I did one cap. of these the other day at the Renaissance Festival and everyone went crazy. So this is for you guys. Well, I wish I could have showed him that. It was really cool, Didn't Jake, see it? but I was zooming in right on the neck. Uh. <laughs> uh -oh. I'll have to use that one on the next one. We'll have to do that again. Yeah, that was called the old around the back, folks. Yeah, it's like shooting pool, he knocked the pipe behind his back and it came off pretty cool yeah that sounds perfect that all sounds right lovely. see you later later robin see our amazing robin. glass academy addict shipper and packer for all glass academy shipper products. connoisseur connoisseur no you can all just right so opening this thing up now the basically you guys the reason that we do a warmer upper for our first piece every time is that 
we want to make it seem like we need to be warmed up. <laughs> but we've been blowing glass all day, so we're already warmed up. Ultra warm. <laughs> Ultra warm. We were literally. taking gathers out of the furnace that were like as big as Marcy's head. Yep. My head ain't that small. <laughs> and she's got, got yep. <laughs> I was saying you got a big head. Let me take a look. All right. It's normal size. You're okay. <laughs> I am actually gonna trim it. Maybe just give it one more smack and then I'll be I'll cut it off and it'll be. So perfect. yeah, you guys know what the question is. Everybody who's new out there, every show for 130 shows, since this is our 130th show, we've given away the last piece of glass that we have made. The last piece is called the giveaway. Mm. And we take that last piece and we show everybody the last piece while it's being made, and then the following week. We, we raffle it off on the Wheel of Names. Ready? I'm ready. And the Wheel of Names is a really cool program that Michelle found online that we can put uh, everybody's email address in and then spin the wheel. And you're going to see that happen tonight. And tonight, it's going to be the pumpkin slug. That's who's getting raffled off. And everybody who answered the question last week and sent it in to enews at glassacademy.com. That's who gets into the raffle. And tonight's question is, when you're feeling blue, what lifts your spirits? That's what we want to know, guys. When you're feeling blue, what lifts your spirits? And that's kind of unique because tonight is blue night. Blue night. So it is blue night, and we might have to bust into the blue chrome. Yes, we might. Yep. But send the answer to that to enews at glassacademy.com. And the website is live. You guys, the website just went live. Every show, we have a featured table. You guys saw this one earlier. The feature table, and it's a picture of that, and all the numbers are online. It just went live. If you want to get any of these amazing pieces or the pieces we did yeah, last it's really week, hard to avoid. get on there and get it. So this was the warmer upper, but I just had an incredible idea come into my brain that I can't not do. Uh-oh. So I'm going to do it. What is it? And the idea is that I'm going to put one leaf up here and bend it over and one leaf down here and then just put a solid rod connected to the two leaves. That's the handle. You mean some type of solid branch? It's going to be branched out. It's going to be stem style. Honestly, I'm going to twist up some gold and some blue. Nice. All right. Well, it sounds cool. So how about, no, just two, uh, let's do green, the beautiful green right there, two leaves. It could be off the same pipe. All right. Uh, out of the clear. So you guys, Thank what you. we're doing tonight, what we do every show, if we don't have custom orders to make, and even when we do, we try to do at least one artist choice. We're gonna get a couple of them done tonight, hopefully. Uh, it's called offhand glass blowing, which means we've never made anything like it before. It's an absolute one of a kind piece, and it is a, a great experience for us, but it's also a great experience for you folks out there who are watching us. Uh, I think we got 115, 120 people on here watching. Spread the word, you guys, and if you can, S-H-A-R-E, the feed, we'd love it. Sure. Uh, I can't, uh, sure I can't say the, the word because if you tell people that, uh, the robots it, it, the robots will come after you and they'll come into my bed and get me like a uh, uh, stink bug or something. Who's got stink bugs? Who's yeah, got stink Michelle bugs? was just going to say, and I was going to say too, who's got stink bugs in their house around this? And are they even called stink bugs? Why? I've heard them called other things before. I think they're called armor bugs, but I think they got the name stink bug because when you kill them, they really do stink. It's really nasty. Well, I don't kill them. I just put them down. Well, the I did hear from possible. several people that if you take soapy water and you uh, just put it in a sprayer and spray them, they instantly die. What? Yep. For some reason, their armor is so strong that they can't take soap on it. That's pretty interesting. And it sounds like a good thing to me. Check that leaf out, guys. Going for some little extra nibblage on there. Listen to it, you can hear it. <laughs> you hear that? What? Whoa. I like that. So this is gonna be two leaves pedestaled off the side of the mug with a stem 
head. What is it called? So maybe there's yes. something out there called a box elder bug, but unless they've Googled it and sent you a picture, they did? They probably did. I mean, it could be called a, a praying mungo or something. You never know, but it could be something completely really different. I don't trust it. I don't trust everyone, everything out here on the internet. Everyone remembers what the name of a group of orangutans is, right? Oh, yeah. I we went over about that, that about a week ago. Yeah, what, what is a group of orangutans? If you weren't there, who can guess? Orangutans of Georgia? Oh. If there's orangutans in Georgia, we're in big trouble. Actually, we're not in big trouble. It's going to be cool because they're kind of on the instinct list, aren't they almost? Like, not extinct, but they're definitely in danger. They need more space. I mean, I just like they did for hawks and eagles in New York City and, like, Chicago, they can just build some type of, like, swinging systems in the skyscrapers in Chicago and New York and have yeah. orangutans living there. Solid. I'm going to make it though. I'm going to do an optic twist on it. Thank you. So those are deep, beautiful green leaves on the side of that thing. I think that orangutans living in New York City or Chicago would be like urban Bigfoot. Herwin Bigfoot? Urban. Urban Bigfoot? Yeah, you know how uh, they, if they built like play systems on top of the sky ri high rises so they could just cruise around and live up there in the sky? That does sound pretty realistic. I think I saw a movie about that or something. I just had to spread out the old flatbread one more time. Oh, because you're going for the special handle. I'm going for something real spectacular. I want to see some of these comments on... Uh, just give me five seconds All this here. crazy stuff Jake was talking about. Cave crickets. Oh yeah, Cindy pulled it out again. Congress, they're a Congress. Yeah, the old Congress. Thanks, Sharon. All right, Urban let me uh, grab That's the bench. Right. You're taking a flash. Going for some more gold ribs. I would love one of those on my balcony too. Just one of those Urban Bigfoots. Going for the twist on here. Gold with the twist with the blue core. Look at this. The core is glowing pretty cool in the camera. This so is this is the handle, yeah. folks. You can see, see. Could you hold this up next to me? Could you set it down on the bench, Marcy? So, so you can I can see, see the, the length. right length. Longer. That looks actually longer. longer. Yeah, it needs to be a couple inch, about an inch longer. There you go. And if you give it a curve, Jake, so it a goes like bend. that, the bench is going to bend out like that. I don't know, you could bend the other way maybe. Yeah. Get your hand in it. Okay. Marcy, let's switch it up. Here comes the Thank connection, you. folks. So when you bring that over, I'm gonna need like a little water. I'll, I'll maybe I'll put a little water on it and then I'll tap you have you tap the pipe and I'll grab it with the tweezers. I don't know about water because it might drip through onto the piece, don't you think? Ready? Maybe I'm ready. So let's see. Just hold it for a sec, nice and level. It's just a little bit of a wiggler. Turn, uh, that's good. Oh yeah. Pull, good. Ooh, I just cut it off. Nice, you can doctor that up. That looks cool. I like that. Cool, cool. Warmer up Just a casual warmer wild. upper. Jeez. No big deal. Let's Sorry. go, guys. We're up to 121. We must have some newbies on there. I'm going to take some torches for sure. This thing's going to be cozy. I'm about to be cozy. No, I just want it to be good up here. Thank you. Just gonna heat this up nice and hot, squish it down real good and cozy for your thumb, because that's something we live by here at the Glass Academy, and that that might be need to be the next uh, neon sign we get. But that might be need to be the next neon sign we. Oh. 
Yeah, Sandy, you're right. That's what happens. It's real tough for us to uh, stick with the same plan, but this thing's looking really sweet. Thank you. Look at that. Hold that up for a second, Jake. Man, look at that handle. That thing's pretty chubby and pretty tasty looking. I'm going to get one more good heat on it, straighten look it out the here. the sun hitting Jake right in the face through the skylight. I'm telling you guys. Windows, skylights. How are we looking on symmetry up top, camera people? How does uh, that lip look? It looks pretty good. It's a hair ovalized, but just a hair, not much. I'm going to give it some love, and then we're going to go for the reduction and bring out these uh, bling blingers bling blingification. Don't forget the GA stamp or did you already get oh it? Oh my gosh. Marcy. She's on it. Oh, Grandpa yeah. Blusinski in the that's house. The, that's right folks. Grandpa, we're talking world famous Otto Plusinski. Ow, ow. And Sue tuning in from Florida. Aunt Sue yeah, folks. Pompano Beach, Florida. I'd love to disclose the news if I knew it was uh, okay to disclose, but it's not okay, who knows? That's the stamp bit, guys. Every piece we make here and anywhere else, we put a stamp on it. That's the GA stamp, stands for the Glass Academy. That's how you know it came from our studio. All we're, right. We're shipping GA After stamp this product one. all over the world. This one's about Look to get. Look at this guy. Let's Look see, at that get it in the sweet sunlight here. leaf handle. Oh, that's a nice one, folks. Going for the gold now. Now bringing out the reduction, which is the precious metals in the glass. You turn the flame up, see that real hot, and it comes out, and you start to get all the metallic beautiness in there. Do one more, Marcy, one more quick. He's going one more quick one in there. That, that is handle. looking really bling bling. That, that handle looks tight. God, what the heck? That's a nice looking piece, Jake. Thanks. Yeah, folks, so this, amazing piece right here will be available you'll see it on the annealer reveal and then next tuesday it'll be on the bottom row of our feature table just like the pieces we made last week during the show you see all those guys down on the bottom i don't know if they're gone or not but those are the ones that we made last week and these guys are knocking off the bottom oh we barely touched it barely guys. touched I'm talking it beautiful barely. funny marcy that guy's just sitting there looking good. She's missing her spoon. Away. Get rid of those chill marks. Boom. Into the oven. Oh, Let's yeah. go over there with them. I'll see if I can get a little shot of some of the pumpkin production today in there at the same time. Oh yeah, mm. look at all those pumpkins in there, guys. Ooh, baby. Nice piece. Cool. I can't wait to see that blue. That blue is so nice. The mixture between the dark and the light. Yeah, I like it. Man, well, sorry to take up so much time on the warmer upper, but I was inspired. That happens sometimes. Sorry. Anything for tech support? Yeah, that sounds good. And I'll take the camera, because I love the camera. Over some of the blues, and we'll put them in front of the white to show how they're all different. Yeah, that sounds great, folks. It looks well, like maybe a couple pieces have gone already, well, maybe not. Yeah, just, uh, but the website's best. live, folks, and we always talk about how the Glass Academy, that's us, family-run business. This is how we support the shows that we're doing. It support the fact that we get to make beautiful art every day, and we love it. So here's our beautiful blue pumpkins. So how many people saw the viral video? And if you get a response that something's weird, don't open it because it's not from us. But the viral video is pretty cool. Heck People yeah. from around the world. Totally. All right. I wanted to put it against the white because the sun is fading. It's turning to dark here. What at number's that one? 10. Number 10. 
That's a sweetie. Number nine is similar to what you just did, how it had the sparkle on the ribs. Yeah, see the iridescence and the extra texture on the ribs? That's true recycle, not mixed with copper blue. So you see because how it's you a can tell the stem, right? deeper blue. That's right, the stem's that color, then you got the iridescent. It's a different iridescent color, but and an the, absolutely popular one. The reduction here is actually a little bit of greens. Mm. So with some lights, like around the table, that's really number nine. Beautiful. Number nine. Let's look at number three. This is when we add the color to the surface, and it's got really light spots. So I don't that know. That stem that's is show. super elegant. And the stem has blue on the inside with clear on the outside, so it's just rolling down that pumpkin. That's look at the finish on that stem. Look at how the three. curl just folds under. It's so cozy. And that's what we're known for is like really. STEM completion. Yes, it's not about how many you can get made, how quickly. It's about what is Slub this one squatter. calling me to do? Can we Here's just, one yep. of my favorites. It's like how the this lines up. Oh yeah. Can we take a peek at that bubblegum cotton candy special though? Yep. Look at this gourd. So this one is one of um, Gabby's favorite with the pink dots on it. Look at that stem. It's like a pink hat. <sighs> And That's it's like bubblegum pink. So we got pictures of all yeah. these on the website, folks. Same with our three pieces from last week, including a one-of-a-kind peanut margarita glass. Okay, and so why do we do this? Because our studio here in Michigan, we used to have everyone come to our studio. Pandemic hit. People couldn't come in. So we brought the pumpkins to you. You virtual amazing yeah. people. Yeah. So we are have why they're still like doing what they're doing. The virtual show that's coming up. Did you get your tickets? Why are we doing a virtual show? Because you guys can't all come here. And the people that used to come here, we used to have hundreds of people that would come. I don't want hundreds of people sitting for hours in our studio watching. So we're doing a virtual show, which means all of you watching can be here. And we have a couple tricks up our sleeve because we're doing some new pumpkins never been seen before. Photographer was in here taking photos. We were, we were doing the sugars today. All kinds of stuff was happening. So, if you buy a ticket, we're putting some special coupons. I was calling it a swag bag, but really what it is is a swag envelope. <laughs> so you're gonna get letter with instructions on how to access the show because this is a VIP show. If you don't buy a ticket, you can't watch the show. You'll get some swag in the bag. There's gonna be coupons to win things like a straw, like our tote bag, like glass magnets that go on your fridge of all our pumpkins, one of a kind. So ticket to the virtual show equals five hours of glass blowing entertainment, additional perks with your purchases that day. And if you have questions, put them in the chat bar um, we can fill you in on what's happening. Special limited edition sticker about the Virtual Pumpkin Fest. This is the first one ever. This is a new platform. This app started in 2020, right during the pandemic. Ties in with our website. You won't have to leave uh, the show, the live show at Folks, all. Folks, first one ever doesn't mean just the first one ever. Oh, this is. The first one ever means we're doing the first time virtual. this has ever been done, a virtual pumpkin show. It's our 13th pumpkin show, but it's the first ever in the history of people making glass pumpkins, which is not that long, virtual pumpkin show. And we're making Actually. exclusive pumpkins we've never made before and sold here at Glass Academy. I saw a Vanini pumpkin from like the 1920s. What's that? A Vanini is a design firm in Italy, and it was a glass pumpkin he did. So the 1920s. That's pretty cool, but they didn't yeah. stream it online because yeah. there was no internet back then. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right, so All right, we got to figure it out, folks. I'm going to take the camera back. He's going to explain how this one's going to work with you because we just needed to go over a couple more things because, like I said before, folks, this is the first time we've ever done, and look at these absolute cuties. Oh, thanks to Don Greats for that one. Thanks to Don Greats for a great idea. I think Christina did an amazing job making those, but... Uh, Dawn Greats, folks, a Glass Academy, a certified Glass Academy addict, is getting 
How do you get certified? You get certified when you join the group of 500 people that is part of the Glass Academy Addicts on Facebook. I'm seeing her certification card. But she does have a certification card. Do you want this? And uh, we're making the first ever Glass Academy Witch's Hat. And no one else better to receive the first Witch's Hat than Dawn Grates, the Perks Master. Folks, the perk is exactly what we have on. A little sneak peek for Kelly. This newly made at the Renaissance Festival cauldron, cauldron mug. Perps and totally steamy, crazy, treacherous. We need to get some uh, mug. dry ice and put it in there. That would be insane. Bubbling out. You think that would crack the glass? Not if dry you put a ice. lot of water in it. If it was filled up with water and you just dropped a small piece in there, it'd be fine. Do you guys know we've heated up our coffee before with a molten glob of glass? The trick, though, is to put it in there, and when you put glass, a glob of glass, into this uh, Merck Level 3 bucket of water, it doesn't start crackling for a second when it's so hot. It takes a minute for the glass to cool down because it actually is so hot, it's repelling the water. So as long as you keep it in your cup, while it's repelling the water, as soon as it starts crackling, you pull it out, and you only get a very little bit of glass shards uh, in your coffee. A question repeated through tech support. Carrie asked what now? Carrie asked if the pumpkin show is going to be recorded. Yes, you will get a link after the show. You can watch it. Um, and the products will also be live on the website. Hmm. There we go. Oh yeah, Joey's in the house. What's happening? Joey said nice mug. Joey, that was a sweet one. You guys send some uh, love over to Joey in Texas. I've been watching what he's doing. He's still making glass every day, having a blast. And I hope it's, it's going great over there, Joey. I don't know if that's gonna, will that do? That's right, folks, witch's hat. And this is a custom order, so you know how custom orders work. If you want something done, if you want one of these horns in a different color, if you want a pumpkin in a different color, this is more appropriate, folks. Tell me if you want scale. something never made before. What's the scale of the one you're making? As big as that? About eight inches, so it might be a little less than that height. Yeah, a little less than that. But like about like maybe that not that wide, because that's going to be huge. There you go, Marcy. Oh, that's, that's perfect. Right on the bun. But it's gonna be an absolute sweetie. There's the drawing. So custom orders, folks, holler at us on the website. There's the drawing, look at that. A couple leaves on there too. And there's my nice new boot. But, uh, oh, that thing is sweet. We got hollow form. Hollow form, a little bit of a flare. I see, I see how he's gonna do it. You're gonna do the ribbon thing. And that's gonna be bright green, the ribbon. So folks, 90% of the custom orders that we do, those are the leaves. I believe the ribbon's going to be in the granny. Ribbon, yep. yep. But 90% uh, of the custom orders we do, I either make and or put off to dad, Chris over here, who makes them. But some of them, those are the pieces that I already know how to make or think about and can think about the way that I'd like to make them. But uh, some of them I've got to refer to the master for. And this is one that I told Don, and we talked it up a little bit. I said, hey, this all sounds amazing. I could do it solid, but I'm not really sure how I would do it blown so you can actually get lights up into the body of this piece to illuminate the perch from the inside. So I took that straight to the maestro, and he said, let's make it happen. Let me add it. And so that's what happened. You got your mic? My mic's on. All right, beautiful. Yep. So I got the uh, molten gather going on here, folks. First one, I know I'm going to need a, a second one, a pretty decent sized one, too. Uh, I need to make it extra long because I'm going to be folding the brim of the witch's hat right out of the, the whole uh, mm -hmm. cone-shaped hat. And that's what I didn't understand. And I want to make sure that I leave it a little thicker than normal because I want to really beat it up real good. If I could tie the weathered it on, look. Yeah, if I could tie it on the back of my truck and drag it around, I would do that. <laughs> but I can't. So that's how you get a nice looking hat to look tore up. Yeah, you just drag it around. Yep. Uh, I got a pretty cool comment here from Linda, who just put in a sweet custom order the other week. She got 
four galaxy glasses in different colors and then a platter with all four colors mixed into it. Nice. I made that last week and it's already in the mail, Linda, so there's no sneak peek, but I will tell you that it turned out so amazing that while I was at the Renaissance Festival, Michelle actually sent me a picture of it and said, bravo, this is a sweet set. Actually, the glass addicts, I think, might have gotten a sneak peek of it because Bridget took a picture oh. and put it on the Facebook. Oh? Oh? Well, uh -oh. then maybe it's on the Glass Academy Addicts page. I'm not Guess sure. Guess you have to find it. Guess you got to find it, Linda. <laughs> oh, man. That's right, folks. you got about three days until our pumpkin show ticket goes up to the final tier, which is $30 per ticket. So that's $5 more than it is now. So if you know you're going to be watching the show, if you want to, hey, support us for $5 more worth of uh, time, then just wait the three days out. But if you're looking to save 5 bucks and get an incredible experience, live, glass-blowing, pumpkin patch, family-oriented, crazy artistic action, then you want to purchase your ticket in the next three days here. It's October 10th, folks. It's going to be a blast. And this is, uh, honestly, just about as much glass as we were working with to make these pumpkins earlier, folks. That's a lot of glass on the end of the pipe, and everything we do is difficult in its own way, but once you start adding more weight to what you're doing, it takes everything to the next level, and it's pretty darn hardcore. Just the one that's over there. A lot of love for Joey. I see it happening. Sharon's Joey, overdue. Up. I did just hear, I thought it was a couple shows ago that Sharon said she booked a ticket to Customville, but uh, she must have had some rain delays or something. Sharon's a supreme uh, custom order collector. And I also want to say thank you, folks, to everybody out there who got me a little something for the housewarming yeah. gift. Uh, just had a couple people, and even just a thank you I'm talking about. People that recognize it, it's really cool. I'm not asking for more right now. It kind of feels like I am. Look at those jacks. He's going for the big jacks. But I do want to appreciate everyone who sent a little love my way, and it's really cool having this community here of people that love the glass and love what we're doing and support us and uh, hope I can be there for anybody who needs my support in the future. Galaxy glasses are sweet. There it is, Bridget. Bridget's watching right now, folks. Bridget is the uh, customer relations connoisseur here at the Glass Academy. And she uh, just confirmed it for you, Linda. They're gorgeous. Uh-oh, Tanya's coming up for one soon, folks. Who's out there that's new that's watching the show, folks? If you're a little uh, internet shy and you don't want to toss a comment in there or have your face recognized, I completely understand. I go incognito all the time. So just put a thumb into the chat. Just give us a thumbs up. We won't see your name, but I'd love to see the people that are brand new to the show. And if you are willing to comment, let us know where you're watching from because we're out of Dearborn, like Michigan, right outside bit. of Detroit, kind of like right a down the street from the amazing Henry Ford, uh, that, Granny Green. And uh, yeah. it's just ridiculously cool to see how our whole lives we built up this uh, community here in the metro Detroit area. And now we've got a community that spans as far as Australia and New Zealand. I mean, South Africa. There were some countries I didn't even honestly know how to say the names more. of, and that's pretty crazy. So we love to see that. I'd love to see some comments of those folks on here. And it looks like he's got a huge bubble in here. He put three layers of the size two purple, folks. I know this color looks blue right here, but it is one of the most expensive colors on the market right now. Hyacinth purple, Get one and more coat it's super and come on transparent over and up over and here. super dense. And so that's what uh, he's got on here. That's what Dawn asked for, deep, deep purple. And then when you be illuminating it from the inside. When you come out, go straight up with it. Get it all fall on the pipe so I can get a nice long wrapper out of here. There we go. Bridget said, secret stuff. She said it. She took the picture for herself. It wasn't for the Glass Academy addicts. She wants to remember. OK, straight up. Straight up, stay up, stay up. Thanks, Bridget. You're the bomb. Stay up. Here comes something. Okay. I don't know what it is, but let's see. Oh my goodness. Is this gold? Nope. This is green. Green? Just very faint in the hat. Oh, for some weathered look? Yeah. Look at the texture of this, folks. Look at the way the glass is pulling off the pipe really thin, coating the outside. It's a little bit of green. You know what I like about this? 
the virtual show is going to be this. It's going to be up close and personal, closer and more descriptive than you'd ever get if you came here. Realer than less. That's right, folks. A lot of folks know Bridget if you've been to the shop, if you're local. She's been on the show once or twice here before, but she is a uh, in-person customer relations manager, and she Dynamo. runs, she kind of is getting pretty down and dirty in the Glass Academy Addicts page, which is pretty cool. She's uh, spreading some love and showing some pictures off, and so if you guys have interacted with Bridget before, give her a thumbs up, give her a, a heart emoji. See some heart emojis come through. Look at this color right now. Look at how when he touches it on the table, it instantly cools it down. With glass blowing, you're working with 2,000 degree glass, but you have to be so aware the glass cools down really quick, and every time you touch Full it with marks. any tool, you're very pointed with where you're putting that tool. It's not just about shaping the glass, but it's about cooling it in certain areas. Right now, he's cooling the bottom. He's leaving it thick. And that's actually going to be the top, is that correct? Mm hmm Good. Closest to me is going to be the top of the hat. Look at these guys working together right now. All right, we got Seattle, we got California, and we also, while he's stiffening that up, got a request from my man Scott here. Number four and number ten on the table I'm together. I'm going to draw it out first, then we'll Let's probably see. have a So number four actually is a little bit bigger, it seems, than number ten. We got a perfect spot for it right here. Check those two out. This guy is not transparent. It's only that iridescent blue chrome with a clear stem. We very rarely do those. We're gonna put those a, uh, clear marice on the top so first. Juicy and hard to then we'll plenty up onto that so it doesn't pull off the purple. Beautiful. And then you got, it's about, maybe it's a little bit bigger, yep. But that's got the blue on the inside of the core of the stem as well. That's a beautiful one, number four there. And then again, folks, down here, we got our three pieces from last week. I'm gonna hold that horn up again later, but three pretty high-end pieces. All right, so here comes Chris. It looks like he heated up just the top of it. And look at this. This is a lot of glass to be one hand and in the air, but he's pulling out. This is not gonna be a small uh, witch's hat, Don. You asked for it. And you know what you get when you're putting in a custom order, usually madness. Looks at he cuts that extra purple off. I'm gonna take a nice zoom on that in a minute and you're gonna see that transparent purple begin to glow. When I start carving this, I'm gonna need to cap it. It's still probably like 1400 degrees right now, so I'm not gonna step on it right now. Dawn is squealing right now, literally squealing. <laughs> okay, cap. Here we go. Marcy's capping the pipe so he can put these creases. Look at this. Whoa, this is hardcore. Creases into the glass. And you got Marcy on the end holding the air into it so it doesn't just inflate and collapse on itself. Deflate. Oh my God, this is looking This guy's sick. looking like it. Beat up. Yeah. First oh, yeah. ever Glass Academy. All right, how about that, Maurice? Folks. This is hardcore. It's tough, Scott. It's tough. You know, what I would say, though, is that we have quite a few pumpkins. We have pumpkins on the website in this copper blue in a few different sizes. These are the one-of-a-kind shapers that we put up here tonight. But we do have other ones in this color you could pick from at any given time. Mm -hmm. What I will say about 10 and 11, money, right? using the blue chrome, Flip. it's a really expensive color. We don't often make blue chrome pumpkins. So I would yes. jump on those before the other ones. Just normal. Just and there's the size for you. The end. Five inches to the top of the stem. Gordy special, yep. seven inches. Number nine, and then you see number eight. He's almost like he's been sitting there for a little too long. He's starting to settle into his place. That's a beautiful big one. Anyway, back to the show, folks. You can kind of see the purple color if I hold it up to the light. Oh yeah, I see that perp. And Julie did just confirm that Dawn is actually squealing because she just heard her at her own house. So that's pretty hardcore. Dawn, you better uh, take it easy on yourself. So when you make me that ribbon, Jake, yeah. remember that I'm gonna be going around, it's gonna have to be a, a fairly decent sized gather. Not too huge, but fairly decent. That looks nice. Just right? Marcy. Just right, it's gonna be just right. All right. 
I could do that. Folks, before I get over into Ribbon Town, any questions uh, while I'm on the microphone with the comments in my hand? I saw one just pop up from Jennifer. Here comes the punny, folks. We're about to flip this piece off of this pipe. Marcy's gonna walk away with this deep, transparent purple top half of the witch's hat. If, I would say come out, just keep it on center, and go down and touch it to the ground, and I'll take it from you while it's on the ground. I'm just wondering if I know what pedal. Your wood pedalism matters. You'll see. Ready? Beautiful break. Look at the transfer. He's gonna line it up on the floor. Beautiful. He knows it's thick on the bottom there. He's not too worried about a crack shooting up the side. Why is he uh, like living on the edge, man? Because that's what it's all about. Oh, oh yeah. Living on the edge. Uh, <laughs> like a look rough or anything. Why? Did you explain no why he's living oh. on the edge? Torch. Grab the gloves. Can't talk about Paddles. it right now. She's moving the yoke. I'm coming over. I'm coming over. She's got the paddle. She's saving it. We've got limited time here. It looks like a turkey leg. Push hard. Boom, it's on there. Turkey leg. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Are you serious, folks? Who are these guys? Oh, my goodness. Look at how he's gently getting it back into the heat right now, folks. If he would have took that straight off the floor with a cold side and threw it right into the furnace, it would have exploded without a doubt. He, God damn it! Jesus. Something spooky about it, folks. Are we it's about to play hockey? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Well, I bet you Dawn's squealing right now, folks. There it is, folks. A deep purple sea bass. We're not saving it. I can see the eye on it right there. Yep, that's certified treachery, folks. You just Woo! saw it. <laughs> you saw it live. Marcy's taking this piece away. That is a big witch's hat. And for anybody who's new to the show, this doesn't happen often, even though it may seem like that. This is what happens when we try new products, folks. We've got to think about the way we this a, works. We need a, a video person. We can just splice that out and just be like, <laughs> hey, Don, we're going to be making your witch's hat now. Nothing happened here at all. <laughs> No, that's just exactly what I said it was, guys. Certified treachery, that's when you lose a piece, and that's what glass blowing's all about, is having the talent to keep the pieces running and keep your calm and come back to it. Glass blowing is one of the hardest mediums to work with. You can't touch the glass, it cools. God, what is going on in here? It cools down super fast, it cracks crown, itself. Honey? and it's super delicate. So we're gonna start this piece over. I'm gonna blow it a lot thinner up by the neck too. So Just the simply after we use three or four piece. coats of the certified most expensive color we have. But that's the cost of glass blowing, folks. I just need to make a bigger Maurice on the end. Chris has been doing this for 30 years. Solid this is what happens. Top. I'm gonna cut it off and grind the end down and polish it and it doesn't matter. So I'll put a bigger, you have a bigger punny and a bigger Maurice. So this is how we're talking about fixing the problem. Same shape, just a little bit bigger. I'll stick it on harder. Okay. Marcy, will you close those doors up? Get a little sweaty over here. Now we love sweating, folks. You got to. But anyway, I did have Jennifer's uh, comment here lined up, and I did want to answer it. Are you go guys going to be making more pumpkin slugs, or does it have to be a special order? Marcy? Can you just show her this pumpkin slug and everybody one more time, and then we'll break the news to him. Just look at his face. I mean, he's like, just adorable. And then he's just got this ridiculous little tail. Oh my God. He's got even a little something under there that I'm not gonna talk about, but. Kind of like a cat. Yeah, it's kind of like a cat something or other. But that's just a ridiculous cutie, and that one is the giveaway. Someone's getting the first ever for free. And what did we make today? 
I know it's going to be hard to get into the microphone, but we made three of those today, folks, because I literally had three emails from customers saying, are you going to be making more of those, and when and how, and can I get them? And I don't know how you guys are going to get them yet. We may save them for the pumpkin show. It may have to be a custom order, but all I know is we tested the waters, tried a couple more colors, and prototyped uh, a few more of those beautiful pumpkin slugs. So please stay tuned. That could be a little featured product for the October 10th pumpkin show. Because we got more people asking about the pumpkin slugs. So maybe they could be snuck in on a table somewhere. Michelle says maybe. I, I think so. During the uh, live show, the virtual show, there's a poll. So we can put questions and you can answer right there and we can see it. Everyone mm. can see. Well, folks, I would love to see a poll of how many people would be interested in seeing one of those on a pumpkin table. Toss a thumbs into the chat and or just say, give me that pumpkin slug. Like a Kit Kat bar? Jody said, I mean, he did want it to look a little bit beat up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, let's try it again. Give it the work. I did tell them why. It got too cold, and somehow that connection, it looked strong, but really what I think it was is there was so much weight on the end, it was wider all the way on the tip, and uh, here comes that stringer bit again. I'm gonna get a good angle for this. It was just so much wider on the very end, and there's just too much leverage from the weight of that piece coming off of it. So the connection wasn't strong enough, it couldn't hold it, even after we got it stuck back on there. It was just treachery. Look at this action though. Is that not super cool? It's just like candy. You guys ever seen blown candy before? Yeah, because we do know there's a lot of sticky lollies fans out there. Similar story to our business here, another family owned business started streaming during the pandemic because they needed to make money to keep their business alive. And that's, uh, that's what they did over in Australia talking about their candies. They pull out these beautiful candy shapes and chop them down. And we've uh, traded back and forth. A lot of people who love watching what we do, love watching what they do. So it's uh, really similar crafts, to be honest, except we're just at like 2,000 degrees and they're at just like a little over boiling temperature, which is still pretty hot. So he's got the beautiful texture on there. He's shaping it up. What can you tell us you're gonna do different on this one? I'm gonna blow it thinner up by the pipe. Go ahead and blow. A little thinner. Oh, Linda. Good. Linda missed it. But all these Glass Academy addicts, I see them right now. I'm seeing second is always better. And they know that that's the truth. They know it's how it works. When you do something for the first time, you try it out, especially on an experimental piece like this. You try it out, see how it goes. Usually it turns out amazing. If it does happen to break, it broke for a reason. And you solve the reason, and you make things even better the next time around. So they know what the deal is. I think we all heard you when it fell, Don. Look at that. All right. Swung right out perfectly. Oh my god. Don Ann got her ticket for October. Let's get it. Folks, how many of you saw the 100th show that we did? Let's see that in the comments. Show number 100, 30 the shows cap. ago. That was the last time we had been doing two shows a week. Now we've got a different show cap for it. our Thursdays. And here come those beautiful creases. Look at the way the metal cools down each line that he cuts in. It gets a little bit darker. A little tough to see on the camera, but it's the truth. Saw it on that one. Oh yeah. Okay. All right, we're taking that bit. A little bigger than normal, because I'm gonna drop it on there and I'm gonna pull it off so it's, yeah, bigger than normal. It looks like everyone really wants to win the pumpkin slug for the giveaway. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, I hope you entered this week, last week, and I hope you enter this week oh, too. If, oh, look it. If they're so hot for that, then have them um, make a, Giveaway this week, be the same. We'll do another pumpkin slug Beautiful. for the giveaway? Yeah, why not? 
We could do that. Or That's true. Bowl, That's very true. Time to enter, here's your, like, all your things. That's very true. Hello. Good. That's why they pay me the big bucks. <laughs> <laughs> After I get this on here, uh, I'm going to explain these guys. Here's our question. This is how you enter for the giveaway for this week, folks. When you're well, feeling no, blue, you, uh, what lifts your spirits? Second, Send that to enews at glassacademy.com. And if we do make an extra pumpkin slug tonight, that's how you're going to be winning that pumpkin slug next week. But uh, I know you wanted to talk about some of people's entries so from pedal, last I'm week's uh, angle so that it's like got a last week's giveaway, it. folks. What was the question like again? Yeah. Okay, last week's not question was straighter. what are your fall activities? Like because not everyone lives Prep. in Michigan, right? So raking leaves was one. But I was Good. looking for Good. activities that weren't right, like we're maybe someone in Texas might do. Texas? You know, somewhere that's Joey? not Michigan. Yeah. So Right I'm trying. On. I like when people can see you. They love when you see us. Here's so like all the comments, and then we're doing more with these comments. Um, soccer games was pretty cool. Going to the cottage up north, or going on a tour, like over to Vermont to do the leaves. Apple orchards, baking pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie. Going to the Ren Fest, decorating the house for fall. That's a really easy, good one. Putting out my glass pumpkins. How so? Um, pumpkin patch, so yeah, there are pumpkin yep. patches, apple orchards, giving out candy, decorating the house, mm. driving around to look at decorations. Do you know in Dearborn, do you remember that, Jake, when, we were, when you guys were kids? I was on a committee that judged the houses. Yes, you do. We drove around and we said, who had the best Christmas decorations? All right. Yeah. All right, here we go. That's we're ready for the fancy new style here. So it looks like that piece you put on the bottom here is a little bit wider and prepared, and Marcy's piece is a little hotter, so perhaps they're going to connect a little stronger. That's not perhaps, folks. I'm telling you what it is because I see it. So they're putting it on there real strong. We don't want to have any treachery this time. And this is called the punting process. You saw it happen on my mug. You saw it happen once before this, and here comes the Could second time. Been a little bit bigger. Could have been as big as little bit back of that end of that. But I think we're going to be all right. Most of the weight is of water here. We can go right down onto the, go on the, just right on the floor. It won't do anything on the floor to it. It's not hot. Here we go. Push towards me. Take it. Feels much more secure already. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful break. I was holding my breath for that one, but it turned out great. Great time for a pit stop, folks. If you're new, check out that ice pack. It's so hot in the shop here that even in October, God, it sure feels like October, but it's September uh, still. Not even gonna trim we need to have ice light strapped panel, to the phone it, so it doesn't explode. It so that's what <laughs> that's what we're uh, doing right there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if anybody's new to the show, again, you guys, please don't be shy. Please ask questions. We got a lot of people that have literally watched 130 shows consecutively with us, and you don't have to do that to become a Glass Academy addict, but please feel free to ask questions. And if I don't get to your question, they get to your question. I know there's a lot of banter in the comment section and we love that, we love the interaction. That's literally what this is about, is having positive interaction with people and talking about glass blowing. So don't be afraid to ask questions. We'll answer them, they'll answer them. We love the comments. Don't be shy. This comes in every one of your boxes too, original work of art. A little information about the company because they are original works of art. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing quite a few sticky fans in here as well. I love that. All right, so we got this puppy on here nice and good. Now I'm going to puff the bottom out just to get more girth so I can get a nice wide witch's brim. Then I'm going to uh, go back and uh, flare it with a couple good paddles from Marcy. couple good paddles. She's ready to paddle. Look at her. She's dancing. And we got no music for copyright reasons, but she's remembering what we were playing in the shop earlier. Marcy's a huge lover of jazz music, so I make sure to always put jazz on when we're blowing glass. Nah, she doesn't really like jazz, but I do. But uh, Scott, love to hear you figured it out, made up your mind. Looks like we're not necessarily pulling orders from the table, but he did get number 10 and he got a slug to match. 
So that's pretty sweet. So he started flaring this open. This could be some sort of giant bosom chiller. If you guys have been out to the Renaissance, it is the ladies at the Renaissance will put ice in a shape like that and put it within their corset to keep their bodies cool during the hot weekends. And uh, some sort of humongous woman could use this piece here, but uh, that's not the case here. I believe he's gonna flare this out even further so it becomes a witch's hat. Once I get on there, I get the big jacks on there, you'll paddle for me. And Sandy, that's the truth. How can you have a slug collection without a pumpkin slug? All right, Folks, here we we've go. gone through a few different styles. We have mustache slugs. We made a few of them today. Those are pretty uh, rare. Ooh, look at this. Oh my God, it's a witch's hat. Look at that, folks. Are you serious? Oh my God. All right, we need the ribbon. The ribbon, baby. I'll get it as soon as I finish my sentence, which was, oh gosh, mustache slugs, pumpkin slugs, and emperor slugs with crowns on them. All right, I hate leaving the comments behind. It hurts. I want to see what you guys are saying, but it's my turn to be involved in the piece. That thing is so sweet, Dad. I'm good. Thank you. It's looking pretty good. I just want to make sure that I don't get it too hot up where the connection is, but I keep some heat up into the pipe so that it keeps this thing really nice and strong because all that weight is coming off the end. This will be big enough? Yeah. All right, folks, I got about enough glass that we could make maybe a medium pumpkin with. I'm gonna go right into the granny. And what is the granny, you ask? I'd like it to be, when I pull it out around it, Jake, about as wide as this, look. As All the way part? around. The leaf part? Yeah. After you squish it? Yeah. I think this is gonna be just perfect. So you're gonna be using a set of tweezers, right, to do a, a double line going down the middle? Sure, if you're not to just make it a it ribbon. Flat. Sure. Marcy, hand him those, would you? I got a lot of layers of green, so it's dense and it's bright and it's popping. The lines look great you in that You might too, even be lines. able to uh, pull it out, you think, and let it start falling like I do the scarf, or do you want to trade up and hold this I and out? I kind of just thought we were going to do it like a trail like this, put it on there and you squish it down. You could put the lines in after, maybe. Nope. No? So I'll, nope. I'll, I'll just give it the ribbon on it right now here. Yeah, unless you want to hold this, it's hot, and I'll do it. If you want to. Yeah, I do. Give that a little flash. You want me in the bench then? Yep, sitting at the bench. Marcy, you might be better coming and shooting from over in this way. And I want to have this be a ribbon that the back of it's like the ribbon kind of coming up on the piece. It's going to be pretty cool. Watch. Which way you want me to turn in that way, right? Well, I don't know exactly what we're going to find out real soon. <laughs> ribbon. Ribbons have a cool curl like this. on the push, careful on the push. You're all right, hold it. That's hot, look out, all the Instagram people. That went on really nice, I'm coming back to you. Nice deeper. It's got a lot of weight on the end now with that added, so we got a couple leaves. I would uh, maybe give it some love or something like that. All right, I'm hustling around. We're gonna get some leaves going here, folks. I'm good. Not outside of the shop. 
I guess I'm talking to the wrong stream now. Can I get in there, Jake, and yep. take a flash? Go ahead, yep. I'll be ready for you as soon as you're back. There's going to be two green leaves that I've got in my hand here. here I got a job last week one leaf we're only gonna get one on at a time folks so that's the most work you can do that's about the limit he's gonna smack it down real cozy on there looks delicious we love a friendly reminder that the punny is nice and cool trying to keep as much heat on my piece here as I can while he's heating. Plenty of heat, plenty Looking of time. Great. Looking great, folks. Looking good. That's the back. Here comes great number dose. Input. Yep, I'm ready for dosey dough. Probably gloving that away, yeah? I think so. All right, folks. Maybe some paddles to torch it for sure. And then... Uh, how about a GA stamp? How about that? stamp on the side. That actually looks cool. It looks like part of the hat. It's like a pin on the witch's hat. All the stamp right. always looks cool, though. That's how you know it's made by us, folks. So what's the move? Move is, I'm going to show everybody this, give it one more flash to equalize the heat, and we're going away with her. Beautiful. There you go. Nice placement of the board. Give them a round of thumbs, folks. That's a beautiful piece. Absolutely beautiful, one of a kind, sweetie. You got a Scott, spot there, Jake? We could put a slug all over a pumpkin. You got a glove up? I'll grab the gloves. You're going to torch it? Oh, uh, yeah, we could. Tor I was going to take that end right off, but oh, we could knock oh. it off and torch it, yeah. What were you going to slide it in on paddles? I was, yeah, put it on the, knock right, it off on cool. the paddles. It's cool. That's the last flash, you're done? Yep. A little bit of water and a perfect break. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Easy. You, you can put, use the paddles to put it away if you want, Jake. I don't really think I want to. It's kind of thin on the lip to be sliding it off. Yep, you got her. Oh my god, yeah. Wish I could just toss it on my head real quick. Nice. Beauty. 
All right, all right. Now that's cool. That's totally different than I was imagining how it would look, but that is sweet and that's bigger sweet, than I thought, dog. too. That was probably seven, eight inches. That was a big one. I knew to get to seven to eight inches, it had to be big because I lost three inches on the rim. Yeah. And the rim that was totally out, proportionate, too. Yeah, it turned out really nice. I wanted to make sure that it was proportioned correctly, but that turned out awesome, Don. And of course, I'm going to tell you to make sure you send me a picture and post it on the Glass Academy Facebook page when you got that thing all lit up and you're spooking people with it. It's going to be sweet posting. For sure. Awesome. Well, I got to get some water now while Jake gets ready for the next piece, which is the pumpkin slug. It's pumpkin slug time. All right, I'm just going to go grab a quick water. We got a half an hour. That's uh, perfect. Do we want to do wheel of names so we could Yeah, win. let's do the wheel okay. names. Um, I do want to say two orders a hello to Melanie and Marilyn. They're, it's their first time order. All right, uh, so you guys. So thank you for welcome. shopping with the Glass Academy. You'll be very pleased with Melanie your Melanie and Marilyn? That's like pretty darn Bad. close. Okay, yeah, so Wheel of Names, folks. Last week, we made the pumpkin slug. We're going to make two more of these tonight here. Uh, one's a custom order, and it's going to have a little special addition to it. The other one's going to be the giveaway for next week. You enter by answering this question, sending it to enews at glassacademy.com, and adding your name to it so we know whose is whose. And everybody did that last week. We've got all their answers right here to whatever last week's question was, which was, what's your favorite harvest activity? And these, how many entries? Ooh, it was like 135 this week. About 135 entries this week, folks. So uh, I think you got a chance to enter twice, don't you? Or no? No. Not? I guess not. So one out of 35, 135 for all you amazing folks and out there. during the show, tell them about the This is how we're going to give away some of the items away. And we're going to be giving away a lot of items during our October 10th pumpkin show. And this is how we're going to do it. Multiple spins per show. Whoa, Marcy Hand. Oh, I know that name. She's a Canadian, folks. And she's actually got two custom slugs made before, so she's adding to the slug collection, folks. We're gonna write up her name on a sheet of paper and give her the final congratulations, but her first name's Carol. Carol, I think you know who you are, and everyone show her some love out there, because Carol just won herself the first ever Glass Academy stamped and signed Show number 129 giveaway, first ever slug pumpkin. Go get some eyes. And we're going to get some eyes and we're going to make this thing happen. Oh, no garage, it's all right. We can torch them, I can torch them. No. <laughs> I was drinking my water. Sorry, you guys. I forgot really, to talk. Pass that to Marcy. That's really the. That's her name? Yeah. Marcy, this is really her name. <laughs> the other one? I have no idea. That's tech support. That's who won, guys. Just seeing some nice pumpkins up there. The, the blue chrome. Number 11 is pretty darn nice, guys. That is a beautiful looking gourd. And number eight is a gorgeous looking deep cobalt recycled glass gourd with silver on the edges. Same as number nine. Cotton candy. This little cotton candy, number five. This one here just looks like it's gonna go on some like uh, 12 year old girl's dresser, I think. Somebody has a daughter or a niece uh, who likes cotton candy. There you go, folks. Did anybody even get excited about the peanut? The Harvest Peanut Martini Glass? That's a four ounce martini glass, guys. I may have to model it here, Marcy.
If you're feeling real Reese's peanut butter cup-ish, or you're feeling like you're going for the planters special, if anybody out there knows anybody in upper management at the planters plant, uh, this could be award for the best employee, the best high low driver at the planters plant. I don't know, but it works great. Check it out. Uh, but I'll tell you what, glass blowers are always thirsty, so they don't drink martinis. Because if this was a real martini, I'd be bombing. Number 13, well, guys, somebody's got to get the peanut martini glass. I would like to introduce our next custom order. All right. Which is for Kelly. And Dad, would you pull out the uh, fancy orange? Size two dots. A gold brown of the transparent orange. On a, in, a, in a tray? Sure, or just on there is fine. I can't get it. So we're doing a stuff. solid body coat. Folks, this is another Something. custom order. Oh, we don't need those for a minute. That's all right, Marcy, thank you. Because I'm going to do a little something to it for a second here, but this is a custom order from Kelly. And she saw the pumpkin slug, and she wanted to one-up it a little bit and get crazy. So she said, can you make that pumpkin slug? But can it be riding slash living on a leaf? And I think the answer is yes. So we wrote up the order and we're gonna give it a shot. This is another first ever here tonight. We're making some really cool stuff. I got a lot of coats of orange. I'm gonna get spots of a deep orange, which almost looks like a cherry red. How's the leaf being made? I'm gonna blow out the whole slug and then I'm gonna put a large leaf. I was actually thinking you might be able to make the leaf on a separate pipe. What if I made a separate leaf and everything and got it all ready to go and then we just set the slug right on it? Well, I was gonna have the slug punting up or on the blowpipe here and then have you bring over the leaf, we can lay it on the bottom. I want it to have a curl to it and that, so that it sits and then I wanted to put a clear ball on the bottom like I did those experimental leaves so that it sits on the ball at an angle so he's kinda like on the side of it. Well, I definitely would think about how that's gonna happen. I mean, I think the leaf should be made and then babysat while the slug's being made because that's, uh, the leaf's gonna take longer than the slug. Really? Well, it can't be done with the leaf tool. Then you're only going to yeah, have a leaf put like a, that big. Put a neckline in the middle of it and cut all the sides of it and then heat it up and bend it. All right. Well, right? make that slug and hand it to me. All right. So I got two layers of orange, two types of orange on here. I'm shaping it up for the mold because this is no ordinary slug. This is a regular slug. I would have pulled out the tendrils, cut off the tweezer marks, and we would have put the eyes right on it. Is it right a green now. Leaf? Green leaf? Yes. Okay. Right now I'm going into the optic mold to put the ribs on it. Twelve pumpkin ribs. Perfect fit. All right, that's looking good. I'm not going to start that thing until you get everything almost done on this guy, right? Because he's getting knocked off differently. He's not getting hot knocked off, right? Right. So that's actually why it'll work a little bit better. Now I'm starting to understand a little bit more. Nothing worse than not having tools. But I should have set up the bench before starting. I'm on the torch. <laughs> that would be great. Need that. I should probably start heating those eyes up. I'll take a bench blow first, though. Blow. Good. So we've got these beautiful green eyes prepared for this exact scenario. But they need to be preheated, because they won't stick to my piece if they're not already hot. So I'm gonna start torching the tendril area, getting those much hotter than the rest of the piece. While Chris is behind us preheating. Might as well give yourself a minute, this ain't gonna work. Okay. This has gotta be, pre this gotta be preheated. You preheat the taglia, or whatever this thing is, and then you put the eyes on there and they preheat, but if I try to heat the eyes up on a cold piece of steel, 
they just explode because there's no heat underneath it. It keeps sucking them out. So we usually do this pretty often, so it's worked out before, but we want to do it a different way. I That's just cool. had two of them blow up on me, and I was pretty far away from them. All right. Well, I'll come over here and heat it up. Can't heat them all. I'm just keeping my piece warm over here. Make sure it doesn't get too cold because you saw with the witch's hat, sometimes you lose pieces if they get too cold. Are you about ready over there? I can't hear you. But yeah, I'm working on getting ready. I'll bring it over. Okay, sweet. These gotta be the right temperature. They both gotta be hot so they can stick together and fuse together when I stick them on there. All right, so they're on there. Now we gotta melt them in, and I'm actually gonna heat it up a little bit more. I'm gonna pull them out a little taller, because they just stuck on there, but I want them sticking off of this slug a little bit. I'm gonna give them a little height so they're actually eye tendrils, just like that. And so they look perfect. Got me to start the leaf. And then I'm gonna do the rest of this. What? You want me to start the leaf or nah. I gotta wait? Yeah, just wait. Just wait. Now I got the eyeballs melted in. I'm gonna squish the bottom of this, let it get nice and flat so this thing has something to sit on, which normally would be the table, but in this case, it's gonna be a leaf. I'll just make the leaf. I got an idea of how I'm doing it. Yeah, you, you don't need to stamp it for it, right? Uh, no, because it's gonna be sitting on the leaf. We're gonna put the stamp somewhere else. Okay. So we'll figure that out in a bit here. All right, so I'm gonna keep this thing warm. I definitely don't want it to get too cold. So if it gets too cold, it'll crack off the blowpipe, guys. It's still pretty orange right now, but that thing's sweet looking. Look at them, big, nice, round eyes. Some polka dot color action going on. I like it. Anyone out there from a country that you haven't told us about, put it in the post, you guys. Let us know where you're from. We love when people tell us from their far away places. All right. For those of you guys who are new, who haven't seen our show before, this heat source I keep going back and forth in has no glass in it at all, except for the glass that we're reheating. It's unlike the furnace because we can turn it off at the end of the night. After this show, we're gonna shut it down and it'll get nice and cool and cold and then we'll have to turn it back on in the morning for production. Well, I'm getting this leaf set up for what I'm gonna do here to sculpt it up. I got a beautiful shape on it, similar to what Chris just did on the witch's hat for the band around the hat. Instead of doing two lines, I'm just gonna do one down the middle here like this. <laughs> oh yeah, looking good. Sally's using gravity, folks. Gravity 
is letting that piece fall down while he's cutting it at the same time. It's looking sweet. Look at that baby. Now I gotta get in here, I gotta give it a neckline. I gotta get this thing off the pipe somehow. Little tug, uh, get the diamonds in there and tug it on the bench. I wanna fix up the tip first. Oh, well you got that core heat in there too. Pull it off first. Yep. Looks like a nice leaf there. I'm gonna go back in here and give it a little more of this guy too. There you go. Now I'm heating just the tip. I'm gonna pull it out, give it a nice little point on it, a little curl to it. And then we're gonna make sure it's gonna sit nice and flat on two different points. We're gonna put a clear ball on one side for it to sit on and a clear ball on the other side so that it connects the stick -em bit to the bottom of the slug. Did you say you're gonna put a clear ball on the underside and then you're gonna have him creeping up the side of it? I was thinking, I'll just, one sec. Looks like a leaf to me. So I'm gonna shape it, I'm gonna give it some bendage first. That's how I'm gonna break it off later on. And I'm gonna do one of these. What? It was intense. <laughs> it was intense, everybody. Yes. Uh, it's almost like a ramp for him. You, I don't know about everybody, and. This is not political at all, but there was an incredible YouTube song called I Ran Down the Ramp, featuring Donald Trump, our previous president. And that's what I just thought of. I don't know if anybody's seen that video out there. But anyway, so he's gonna be sitting like this. It's gonna lay like that. I wanna put a clear ball right there for it to lay on like that. And he's gonna be on top of it like this, facing that way. Okay. Uh, just like what you've been bringing me for the experimental shows. Not so too he'll huge. be he'll be uh, kind of sideways on there. Yeah, like lean a little bit it be to one side. Up the leaf. Climbing up it, going over the edge a little bit. This How's the connection gonna go? I'm gonna put a stick a bit on the top here, just a clear ball, and then we'll tap it on there, and I'll tap the pipe. You stick it on there, I'll tap the pipe, and you'll take it away. You're gonna put the clear ball on the bottom first. Yes. And then we got the stem for the tail of this cutie. And that's gonna be pretty sweet too. That's perfect. Yep. Well, you can hold on to that because that's actually gonna be the stick em bit for the other side. Just gotta let this stiffen up a little bit first. We gotta put the uh... My slug's doing real good over here. Keep it nice and warm. All right. So, well, let's, I think we can do it now. Mom's gonna bring over the stick a bit. If you're ready, I'm gonna give him a little gonna water. Put the clear on there, and you're gonna bring it over like this. I'm gonna break the leaf off. You're gonna stick them on here. I'm gonna come over here and stick them on just like this. And then I'm gonna break mine off, and you take him away. Oh, so I'm gonna have the leaf with me. Yeah. All right, because then we're going to knock them all off and put the stem on. So that you'll have time to torch the end of the leaf. Right. All right. Here comes the stick a bit. Spin it the other way a little bit. There you go. Yes. Beautiful. Nice. Sweet. Thank you. So now I'm just going to give it a little extra heat and make sure this thing stands up correct. Torching the leaf before it gets moving. The 
was the tail where you busted it off? All right, all right. He's making sure he's gonna stand just right. There you go. I like it. <laughs> so all now, right. now guys, he's gonna use the torch on it. Take care of the end of that leaf a little. Looking good. Now so getting... just like you were bringing them earlier, Marcy. All right, Marcy's bringing the little tiny slug like pumpkin that. tail. Okay, I'm just thinking about the angle. We got to give it the angle again. Uh, I would love go. No, Granny Green is what she wanted. All right, Granny Green tail. Outside. A K A. Granny Green stem tail. Stem tail. He's looking good, guys. He's looking good. Okay. Ooh. Nice and tiny. It's a big boy. He might just be having it, and in, that stem tail may have to have to curl right around onto the leaf. Yeah, lay down on the leaf. Dropping in. All right, I'm knocking. Let me get uh, a little protector, knocker protector for you, Jake. Thank you. Perfect. I'll hold it in place with these two if you like. No, I think we got it. We did it about three times today and they were actually turning out smooth even though it looked a little crazy. A little harder squish. Okay. That's just absolutely perfect, Marcy. Keep pulling a little bit more. Good. Oh yeah, just give it to me. That's perfect. That's pretty much exactly what I'm talking about. Curl it back over, pull it off, curl it down and around, folks. Mm, I feel like I'm cooking. That's it right there. Just can, can you see it from the back side over here? Oh yeah. You got it with that or you want the claw? You That's a lot too. of weight. That's a lot of weight. Turn it sideways. Looking good, folks. Looking good. You're going to see the walk of the champions oh God, coming back. Look at the two of them. Yeah. Here they come, folks. Huh? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, yeah. The glass blower shut. Nice job, Jake. Nice Kelly. job, Marcy. It's another Looking one of a good. kind here. That's just serious. Kelly's got the cauldron. Now she's got that piece. Oh, boy. Man, these slugs just keep transforming. Yeah, it looks great. Pretty cool. That stem was perfect, nice. Marcy. That was awesome. All right, all right. Sweet. All right, so we got a 10 minute twist cup uh, or some type of something. I haven't decided yet, but it might be that. Okay. You gonna take this puppy? All right. Yeah. We were talking about a slug for the giveaway, but we got 10 minutes and it's Chris's turn. So it's his call, folks, and we will promise uh, you'll have options. I don't know if I was gonna put a, to, I was gonna uh, make a slug. Get pumpkin slugs. Oh, we got a little stressful there for a minute, folks. Got a little bit stressful. What? Because everyone was asking for it, but we don't necessarily have to. I made three today. Whatever you want to do is cool. A second one in a row? Whatever. They just But we can do another one. Go for it. All right. What? Not an elite. No. Just a regular one. That was the custom. That's called ultimate customization. All right, all right. Nice, a lot of English people. You know why? Because we were showing off this cauldron cup. The cauldron beer mug. Look at this thing. Is that called the CC? It's, it's got a glowing purple interior, which is purple. It's got a purple handle. And then it's got some purple rings that you would hang over the giant fire. And then it's got three iron balls on the bottom. Look right here, it's signed, you guys. But that is a sweet mm -hmm. cauldron beer mug. 
one of a kind, never been done before. I can guarantee nobody's made a blown glass cauldron beer mug. It's a one of a kind, kind of week. Yeah, it is. That's what it is. All right, so Jake's making a slug for the giveaway. And if you guys want to get in on the giveaway, you know what it is. When you're feeling blue, what do you do? What lifts your spirits, you guys? And when you answer that, send it to enews at glassacademy.com because next Tuesday on show 131, we're going to be giving away another pumpkin slug. Just like this little guy right here. Look at his little tail. That's right. Look at these sweet little chicks, the witch's chick. Look at those guys. This guy's calico. He's a calico. Look at him. Yep. He's got his little tail. Good. Two of them all just get busy over here. Good. I Beautiful. like it. Oh. Oh, it's dang. Empty. Denied. I saw it. Darn it. I hate it when my water's empty. Going for another set of eyes here, guys. We're doing it. Sorry, I'm not looking at my phone and answering you. Bring it right on. I have a hard time multitasking the questions and the videoing. Whoa. Whoa. It must be fused to get off. Nope. Oh, fancy. <laughs> the Smackdown. <laughs> They'll come off when it cools down. Amazing. Yep. We got two eyes on there. Hotter than usual, so all I got to do is give it a little bit of love, and Mars is going to be bringing over the GA stamp, which she did mention to me. We forgot to stamp that last slug. I was so involved. Uh-oh. So now it's going to be hand-signed. It was already going to be signed a custom order. We signed all the custom orders, custom in the year, right on them. But uh, this one I'm going to sign, custom order, and I'm going to put Glass Academy, and I may just even say, Kelly, you're the bomb. I almost got worried and almost forgot that maybe I didn't stamp the witch's hat, but then I did stamp it. You I forgot. Yeah, you stamped the heck out of it. It looked good. Yeah. Here comes a little stamp on the bottom, and if you're quiet, you can totally hear it. Right when Jake presses in it, it lets its juices, it is slime out. Listen. Glass slime. That was wow. it. That was a loud one. Yeah, uh, let's go with the gold brown one. Super iridescent gold brown. We haven't done one like that yet. All right, we're going for some crazy deep amber gold. Gold, my friends. Gold. Go. Oh, slug town. These guys probably just hang out in like the dark corridors of the, the cauldrons and the witches' hats and the shady corners I've of the area. I've seen a couple in the pumpkin patch before, though, too. Well, that's because they like eating pumpkin. That's why the, how they turn that color. Yeah. The few ones that can now, get out of the Now, everybody can see everything area. that's going on right now just because I'm showing them right through the flame. <laughs> Here comes a little tail, guys. We're going to get in on this puppy. Oh, a hot gather stuck right on his rear end. Oh, I heard him. Poor little feller. Beautiful once again. This one is going to have the quick up full. It doesn't need to be too crazy with it. Then I can pull this back down. I love it when they just wrap around like a little ponytail. Let's get around the back and take a peek. Marcy, could you give this a little front end support as I squish down the end of this ponytail? Thank you. Perfect. Oh, that thing's blinging now. Someone's gonna win a little crazy one right there, folks. Wow. Another and away cutie. he oh. goes. Oh. You got the door? That's what I'm talking about for the giveaway, folks. Marcy's getting crazy over there. Beautiful. She got him in there. It's beautiful. All right, all Aww, right. Aw, yeah. Love it. Another amazing show. Let me give the old spin around, everybody. Don't get dizzy. Whoa. 
you come on. You're making people get all nervous before bed. Get Where all are you? Crazy. I was looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, here these pieces are. We've been showing them no off, but the I can't believe horn. the pumpkin horn's crazy with the handles going up, the leaves going either direction. Sign show number 129, gold stamp, optic twist handle. That's a pretty serious one. If this was at the Renaissance, which if it doesn't sell, it is going there, and that's going to be a first seller. But same with the vase. Same with the pumpkin vase. I mean, that's hardcore. You were already talking about the peanut guy. That is truly one of a kind and oh, super yeah. sick. And that's what we got left, guys. We got number Cotton three, candy. five, two, three, five, nine, eight, and eleven. I don't know Remember if we that. Showed off number eight here with the sweet stem. Look at the way that falls down into the body there. It's the Goldilocks. It's ridiculous. It's a girl. She let that thing down out of like the giant castle steeple, and <laughs> some dude crawled up and like yanked it right out of the back of her head, I oh think. Oh my God. Something crazy. That's horrible. <laughs> That's all right, horrible guys. Stuff. Well, there's tech support getting all buck wild over there. Hey, congratulations again to Carol. Marcy's nice getting all everybody. buck wild, the torch girl. Whoa. Look at her. <laughs> oh boy. But that's it, guys. We had another amazing show. That's right. Uh, we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. And we're looking forward to having another Gathering Point show. I think this one's going to be labeled The Witch's Hat Treachery. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So people can see when they go back and look at the different episodes, they'll know this, this one got the crazy. Witch's Hat Treachery. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys on Tuesday. We'll see you Thursday. We'll see you Sunday. We stream three times a week. So and just check remember, us out. you guys, this is what you, if you're going to blow glass, this is what you got to do. Check it out. You gotta have.